For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein and a half of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in Cafe Latte. As for tools, a 6.5mm hook, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they will be as followed. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet and a half double crochet. This tutorial is for a small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. To get this sweater started, we're first gonna need to do some measuring. We're first gonna start off by grabbing a tape measure and measuring from the outside edge of our collarbone to the other outside edge of our collarbone. Take that number, write it down. Now that we have that, we get to decide how deep we want our V to be. This is how deep I like my v-necks to be. If you want yours deeper, go lower. Not as deep, go higher. Either way, measure from there back up to your previous point. Whatever that measurement is, we're going to double it and then add it to our number that we just wrote down. And that's going to be how long we want our initial chain to be. Once you're done with that, count your loops and if you have an even number, add one more because we'll need an odd number for this next part. Now that we have our chain, and mine is 30 inches, or 76 centimeters by the way, we are going to connect it to the other side, but right before we do that, we are going to run our thumb along our chain just to make sure that it is all facing one direction so that it is easier for us to get into the next row. And once when we know that it is all facing one direction, we're going to insert our hook in through that first chain that we made with a slip stitch. So all that is is insert it into that first chain, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And once we have this, we're going to need to do some counting and some measuring. This is what we should have once when our chain is all connected. And as you guys can see, I have went ahead and put in some stitch markers. And we're just going to talk about this really quickly. So now that it's all connected, into this point where I did my slip stitch, this is going to be where our back is. So I measured out slash counted where I'm going to put my v-neck. And I just made sure that I had the same amount of loops on both sides coming from this point all the way down to the middle. If we stretch it out, it is directly in the middle and that's perfect. That's going to be the bottom of our v-neck. So I just made sure that this side had the same amount of loops as this side. And then once when I figured out this, that last measurement that we made for ourselves that went from the bottom of our v-neck that I said was going to go up to where we had that previous point at the edge of our collarbones, I measured from there all the way up there. And then I put in that stitch marker and I did the same thing on the other side. And now we can go in with our row of single crochet with some increases. Now that we've gotten those measurements out of the way, we're going to go in with a row of single crochet. Once we have this, we're going to chain up one and into each of these loops that we have, we're just going to go in with one single crochet. So into this first loop, we're going to insert our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through two. Let's do the next one together a little bit more slowly. Into the next loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through just one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And those are our first few single crochets. We're going to keep doing that until we get to our first stitch marker. Then I'll meet you guys back to show you guys what to do. We've made our way over to our first stitch marker and this is our side stitch marker where the edge of our collarbone is. Once we get here, we're going to take out that stitch marker and we're going to go in with an increase of two. So that's just two single crochet into that same loop. So there is one single crochet and two single crochet into the same loop. This helps our work curve so it can sit on our shoulder nicely and it's going to make our way down to our next stitch marker, which is our V. And we're going to be doing an increase of three in there. But until we get there, we're going to just be putting one single crochet into every loop going all the way down. We are now at our middle stitch marker, and like I said, we're going to be doing an increase of three into this middle loop. So we're going to take out this stitch marker into this loop. We're going to be putting three single crochet. So there is one single crochet, two single crochet, and one more, three single crochet. And this forms our V. Once we have that, we're going to be working our way back down our chain, putting one single crochet into every loop until we get to our next stitch marker. We've now made our way over to this last stitch marker that we have, and this is the stitch marker that's on the other side of our collarbone. 
So we're just going to take this out and this is going to be the same one as the other side. We're going to go in with an increase of two right here. So two single crochet into that one loop. And then from here, put one single crochet into every loop going all the way back down our work. And then we will meet the edge of where we first started this single crochet row. Once we get there, we're going to do a slip stitch to connect this row together. We've made our way all the way down our chain. We don't have any more loops to go into. And so we're just going to slip stitch it into that first loop that we made. So into this first loop, we're going to insert our hook into that loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. And we have now attached with a slip stitch. From here, we're going to chain up one and cut. Now that we have this v-neck portion all finished up, we're going to be going back in with a row of back loop single crochets just for a little bit of a ribbing effect. So what we're going to do from here is take our hook. We're going to take a look at any one of these loops that we want to insert our hook into. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to insert our hook in through that back loop. Take our yarn, insert that onto our hook, pull through, and then we're going to chain up one to secure. And from here, it's just back loop single crochets. So into this next back loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to keep doing this until we get to our increase that we have right over here. We can tell that we have our increase of two in the previous row. We're going to stop right when we get to this first single crochet, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. We've made it over to this first set of increase of two that we have in the previous row. And if you guys pull it apart just a little bit, you guys can see here's loop one, here's loop two. And into loop one, we're going to be going in with another increase of two directly into that back loop. So there's one single crochet and there's two single crochet, making sure that both of them are going in through the back loop. And then we're not going to be doing anything into the next one. We're just going to be going down with more back loop single crochets until we reach that increase of three or the bottom of the V. And then we're going to be doing another increase in there as well. We've made it over to our increase of three in the previous row. If you pull it apart, you can see here's one, two, three. This is the bottom of our V. So into this first back loop, we're going to be inserting our hook and just putting one single crochet. And into this second loop, we're going to be doing another increase of three into here to maintain this corner. So into this second loop, we're going to be going in with three single crochet into that loop. Once we have that, we're going to go back in with back loop single crochet, putting one into every loop that we have until we get to this other portion where we did an increase of two in the previous row. And then we're going to do another increase of two into this set of two, just like how we did on the other side. We've made it over to our next increase of two. And what we're going to do is make it even on both sides. And since on the other side, we did an increase of two on this first one, we're going to go into this first single crochet that we have with just one single crochet and then into this one into this increase of two we're going to be going in with two single crochets into that second loop and then from here we're going to continue to go down putting one single crochet into every back loop slip stitch into that first loop and then we'll get started on the body portion we now have our collar all finished up so we can actually set this aside for now and we're going to start working on the body portion next First, we're going to have to measure out from our underarm down to where we want this top to be. And I'm going to make a total chain of 11 inches or 28 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is start off by doing a row of half double crochets. So how we do that is blocking off that last loop. We're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Insert our hook into that third loop from the hook. Yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops that's on the hook. Let's do this together one more time. Prepare for a half double crochet. Insert our hook into that next loop. Yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then once we have that, we're going to put one half double crochet into every loop that we have going back down our work. But we're going to be doing an increase on that last loop, so I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We made it to the end of our first row of half double crochets, and we're going to be doing an increase into this last loop. So all that is, is putting two half double crochets into that loop. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and we're going to be doing that one more time into that same loop. So let's do it together, prepare for a half double crochet, Insert our hook into that loop, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is our increase on this side. And this increase is going to help us build up to the shoulder portion that we will eventually get to. But for now, this is what we're doing. And we're going to be switching out between a row of half double crochet and back loop single crochet. So let's get started on the back loop single crochet row. What we're going to do from here is chain up one, flip our work, and then into this first loop, we're going to be doing another increase, but it's going to be an increase of back loop single crochets. So into this first available loop, we're going to go in with one single crochet. Once we have that, we're going to go in with another single crochet. And then from there, go ahead and put one back loop single crochet into every loop going all the way down your work. Once we reach the end, we'll do it together, but we're going to chain up two, flip our work, and do half double crochets going into the back loops, going back down. So we will meet each other back once we are done with this back loop single crochet row. We've made our way all the way down with our back loop single crochets, and like I said, we're going to be going in with a row of back loop half double crochets. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we are going to be chaining up two, that counts as a half double crochet flip our work and then we're going to be going in with back loop half doubles. So we're going to prepare for a half double into this first back loop that we have. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's basically it. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to that last loop. And then we're going to be doing an increase into there, but we can do that together once we get there. And then I'll talk to you guys about the rest of this top. We're now at our last loop working into this back loop single crochet row with back loop half double crochets and we're just going to do an increase into this last loop so from here you guys already know prepare for a half double crochet into this back loop we're going to be going in with one half double crochet and then this is an increase so we're going to go in with another half double crochet and then you guys guessed it chain up one flip our work and then this is going to be a back loop single crochet row so just to start this off together we're going to insert our hook into this first back loop with one single crochet and then two single crochet into that same loop and keep doing this all the way down once we make this to the end we're going to chain up two flip our work and work with back loop half double crochets and then we're going to keep increasing on this side until this portion reaches the front of our body and then from there we're going to make an increase that goes straight up to reach our shoulders but i'll meet you guys back once we have this little chunk done and i'll tell you guys my measurement in the next clip as well we're now all finished up with doing our underarm portion and what we're going to do from here is put this up to ourselves and from this corner that our hook is in we're going to measure all the way up to our shoulder and once we have that measurement you're going to make a chain that comes out to that number and just to let you guys know i'm going to have a chain of two inches or five centimeters so once when we get here, what we're going to do is just chain up whatever number we have. We now have our chain that reaches all the way up to our shoulder. And what we're going to do from here is see what row we're going to have to do next. So for me, my row that I previously did was a row of half double crochet. So this row is going to be a row of back loop single crochets. If you guys finish with single crochets, you're going to do it in the reverse. You guys are going to do this next row with a row of half double crochets. But once when we have figured that out, we are going to block off that last chain. I'm going to be doing a single crochet row, so I'm just going to chain up one. I'm going to insert my hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the second loop from our hook, with a single crochet. Once when we have that, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every loop, going all the way down our chain. And then once we get to the body portion, we're going to be going back into our back loops. So we're going to stick together since we're almost to the body portion. This is fairly easy just putting one single crochet into every chain and we finally made it down to our body portion and once we get here I'm going to flip my work just a little bit just to turn it so that our loops align and once we get here we're going to continue going into those back loops so go ahead and go in with a row of single crochet or half double whatever row you guys are working on and then we're going to keep doing this until we have a portion that is blunt just like this so that it can reach the tip of our collar but once we have this i'll give you guys the measurement and then i'll show you guys how to attach it to the collar after that i now have my super duper tiny shoulder chunk and just to let you guys know just this chunk is a total of just one inch or three centimeters and now we're going to attach it into the base which is our v-neck portion but right before we do that as you guys can see i have 
this stitch marker in and the stitch marker is just where we did our increase into the corner and I went ahead and picked one loop it doesn't matter which one since we do have two loops for the increase I picked one made sure that I picked the same one for the other side as well for whenever we do get to that but we have that done <laughs> and then once we have that we're going to take what we're working on insert it into this loop attaching our shoulder chunk to the v-neck portion is super easy what we're going to do is insert our hook into that loop that we put a stitch marker in we're going to take that guy out and once we have that we're going to yarn over pull through everything on our hook and now it's attached and now we can go in with our continued back loop half double crochet and back loop single crochets all the way down the v-neck but within the first two loops of every row we are going to be doing a decrease we're now attached into our base and what we're going to do from here is go in with our next few rows so the next thing we're going to do is take a look at our base we're going to take a look at the next available loop insert our hook into that next available loop yarn over pull through everything so we're just slip stitching into that loop and then we're going to be working into this little shoulder chunk that we have right here once we have that we are going to be doing a decrease into the first two back loops with a single crochet so we're going to insert our hook into that back loop yarn over pull through into that next back loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and that is our back loop single crochet and then from here we're going to continue going all the way down with more back loop single crochets and then we're going to work our way back up with back loop half double crochets and then i'm going to show you guys how to connect it into the base we've made our way back down with our row of back loop half double crochets and we left the last two loops so that we can do a decrease right before we get into our base so what we're going to do from here is prepare for a half double crochet insert our hook into that next loop yarn over pull through and then we're going to insert our hook into the loop right after that yarn over pull through we should have four loops on the hook we're going to yarn over pull through everything and then once we have that for our half double crochet row we're going to be counting up two loops into our base so we're going to count up one two slip stitch into that second loop and now this row is all attached and then we're going to work our way up to the next row together all that is is slip stitching up the next loop we're going to flip our work and then decrease into the first two loops but this is a back loop single crochet row so we're going to be decreasing with a back loop single crochet so we're going to insert our hook into this loop yarn over pull through into the next back loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and once we have that continue going all the way down with our row of back loop single crochets basically we're still alternating between back loop half double crochet and back loop single crochets the only difference is that we're decreasing into the last two loops that's right next to the base and we're attaching it into the base and we're going to keep doing that until we make our way all the way down towards the bottom of our v and then once we have that we can do the other side and then we are going to connect it all together we are back and we are ready to connect both of our front pieces together and all that is is doing a row of outside loop single crochets making sure that we're going in through both panels that we have so getting started on this outside loop single crochet row connecting both of our panels is we're going to insert our hook into this first outside loop that we have in the panel that's closest to us and then in the back panel we're going to insert our hook in through the back loop that we have right there and then we're going to close it off with a single crochet let's do the next one together really quickly we're going to insert our hook into the front loop into the front panel and then in through the back loop into the back panel and single crochet and that is it go ahead and keep doing this all the way down once when you get to the end cut and tie and then we'll be ready to do the back panel we have just finished up doing the ribbing along this back portion that we have and this is our seam that holds the entire front panel together and then if we flip it over we can just take a look at the ribbing that we left for ourselves this is the v-neck ribbing and then this is why we did the outside loop single crochets along the inside so that it can match the front a little bit better but now that we have this done we are ready to get started on the back panel so all we're going to do is do this chunk that we have right here this is the underarm portion that went from our underarm down to where we wanted the bottom of the top to be and then we did our increases all the way over 
and we're going to do this plus this shoulder chunk, making sure that it all matches. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have all this done. We are back, and now we have our underarm portion to our shoulder chunk all finished up. And if you want to lay it on top, it looks exactly the same. But once we have this, now we're just going to go along the entirety of the back portion of our v-neck, connecting it all together. So what we're going to do from here is fairly simple. We're first going to take a look at this first available loop that we have that's right next to our shoulder chunk for the front panel. Then we're going to insert our hook into that next loop that we have. And we're going to insert it with a slip stitch. So we're going to insert our hook right here, and then yarn over, pull through everything. And now that we're all attached, we're going to take a look at our loops that we have. So into this next available loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through with a slip stitch. And if we take a look at our previous row, it was a row of half double crochets. So our next row is going to be a row of back loop single crochets. So we're going to flip our work and then we're going to go in with back loop single crochets. And since this is the back portion, we don't have to do any decreases. We're just going to go all the way down with back loop single crochets. We're going to chain up two, work our way back with half double crochets all the way back to our base. And when we're back at the base, we're going to count up two loops, slip stitch into that second loop, and that closes off the half double crochet loop. And then from there, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop and then go back down with back loop single crochets. So it's basically the same thing that we did for the V-neck, but we're not doing any decreases, so this is a lot easier. But go ahead and keep doing that until we have worked our way all the way down the entirety of the back portion of our V-neck. We are back and we have made our way all the way down the back portion of our v-neck and now we just need to make a little chunk of our shoulder portion that we made on the front just so that it can match and then we'll attach it later. But once when we get here it's going to be the same exact thing. All we're going to do is chain up one, flip our work, and then go back down doing whichever row that we had to do next, going into the back loops and then from there we're just going to make sure that the measurement is the same as the front and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this underarm portion together. We are back and we now have our shoulder chunk that matches the front portion of our shoulder chunk and now we're ready to start doing this underarm portion. And this is going to be fairly easy. The only thing that we have to do is see where we ended this row. And then all we're going to do is put in a stitch marker where the underarm portion needs to start. And then from there, we're just going to work our way back down the way that we were already going from the previous row. Now that we're ready to get started on this underarm portion, what we're going to do is take out this stitch marker that we have. And then we're going to go in with the row of whatever row we have next to do. So my next row is going to be back loop single crochets. So I'm going to insert my hook into this back loop, insert my yarn onto my hook. We're going to pull through and chain up one to secure. And then since we're going down, we're going to be doing decreases instead of increases. So how we do a decrease is we're still going to be going into the back loops. We're going to insert our hook in through the first available back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then into the next available back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And that is our decrease on this side. Once we have that, we're going to go back all the way down doing back loop single crochets. Once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up two, work our way back with half double crochets going into the back loops, but leaving the last two loops so that we can do a decrease together. We have just finished up doing our underarm portion for our back section that we have. And if you guys want to take a look, this should overlap exactly the same as it would in the front. And then what we're going to do from here is just go in with a row of single crochet along the sides to close it up. So this single crochet portion is going to be exactly like how we did the front portion, except we don't have to go into the outside loops. So what we're going to do, since our hook is already into this corner, we're going to insert our hook into the back panel's corner. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything, and chain up one to secure. And then from here, we're just going to go in with a single crochet. So we're into this first available loop in the front panel. We're going to insert our hook into the next available loop in the back panel. We're going to insert our hook into there and then single crochet. Let's do this again. Insert into the next loop, into the next loop, into the back panel and single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. And then once we make it to the end, we're going to cut and tie and then we can get started on the sleeve. 
ta-da! We are all done with this seam that we have along the sides, closing up this side of our shirt. And what we're going to do next, right before we get started on the sleeve, is actually just connect this top shoulder portion that we have. So connecting the shoulder chunk, it's going to be pretty much the same way that we've connected everything else, except there's no pretty loops for us to go into. So getting this started, we're first going to insert our hook into any one of the loops that we can find that's closest to the base, making sure that we go in through the front panel and the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, chain up one to secure. And I'm going to do just a couple single crochets since my shoulder chunk isn't very long. So I'm just going to find the next loop-ish that I can find, insert that in through the front panel, insert it in through the back panel, single crochet and I am actually just going to do one more single crochet but this is going to be easy we just have these corner loops to go into so into the front panel and also into the back panel and single crochet and our shoulder chunk is now all connected and the next thing that we have to do is just go in with a row of single crochet along the entirety of our armhole and then once we make it to the end we're going to connect with a slip stitch We've just finished up doing our row of single crochet along our armhole. And what we're going to do next is actually try this on to see how long we want our armhole to be. So measuring from the bottom of our armhole down to where we want the length of our sleeve to be, but remembering that we do have a cuff at the very end as well, we're going to take that measurement and then make a chain that's that length. To get started on our sleeve, we're first going to insert our hook in through any one of these bottom loops, it doesn't matter which one, and we're going to start by just making out a chain that comes out to the measurement that we need. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do next is super simple, we're just going to block off that last chain. We're going to chain up two, that counts as a half double crochet, and then we're going to work all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every loop going back towards our base. We've made our way all the way down with our row of half double crochet and we left the last loop so that we can increase together. So it's going to be pretty much the same exact thing as we did for the front portion where our v-neck is. Instead of decreases, we're going to be doing increases. And we're going to be doing these increases all the way up until we get to this shoulder top seam that we have and then we're going to be doing some decreases going down the other way. But in order to do an increase on this side, we're going to put two half double crochets into that last loop. So there is one, and there is two half double crochets into that last loop that we have right next to the base. We're going to take a look at our base, and then we're going to count up two loops. So we're going to count one and two. We're going to insert a hook into that second loop with a slip stitch, and our half double crochet row is now all connected. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop. And you guys guessed it, we're going to go in with a row of back loop single crochet, but we're going to maintain the increase that's right next to the base. So we're going to flip our work and then into this first available back loop that we have, we're going to go in with a back loop single crochet increase. So into this first loop, we're going to put one single crochet. And then we're going to go into the same loop with another single crochet. And then once we have that, go all the way down doing back loop single crochets. Once we work our way back with our half double crochet row, we are going to do another increase at the end right next to the base. And we're going to keep doing that all the way up until we get to the seam that we have for ourselves right next to the shoulder portion. We've now made it to the top portion of our shoulder and once when we get here, like I said earlier, we're going to do some decreases going back down the sleeve so that it can match the other part. And all that is, we're going to insert our hook into the first available back loop to work our way up to the next row, flip our sleeve over, and then we're going to start working on our decreases now. So I'm going to insert my hook into this first available back loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next available back loop, pull through, we should have three loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything, and that is our decrease for this row. Once we have that, we're going to go all the way down with our back loop single crochet row, 
And then we're going to work our way back up with our half double crochet row, remembering to decrease into the last two loops, just like how we've been doing with the V-neck portion. And then once we have that, we're going to connect it all together once we don't have any more loops left. So I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect it together. We now have the other part of our sleeve all finished up. As you guys can see, we don't have any more loops to go into. So the only thing left to do is close it together. So all we're going to do is insert our hook in through the front panel, into the next available loop in the back panel, and single crochet. And that's it. We're going to keep doing that all the way down until we don't have any more loops left. But don't cut and tie because we have a little cuff to do at the end. We've made it all the way down with our row of single crochet closing up our sleeve together, and now we're going to work on the cuff. But before we get started, I'm going to switch out to my 5mm hook so that our cuff can cinch in just a little bit more. But once when we have switched it out, all we're going to do is insert our hook once into every row that we have. But our rows are going to be a side half double, a side single. So all we're going to do is just put one single crochet into each of those rows, doesn't matter which one it is. And once we make it back to the end, we're going to slip stitch into that first loop. We've made it all the way around with our row of single crochet to get started with our cuff, but the only thing we have to do left is just go in with a slip stitch. So into this next available loop, I'm just going to insert our hook, pull through everything. And now this single crochet row is all finished up. And the next thing that we're going to have to do is figure out how long we want our cuff to be. And then once we know how long we want our cuff to be, we're going to go ahead and make a chain that comes out to that length. And once when we have our chain, we're going to go in with a row of slip stitches so that our cuff can cinch in. So all that is is blocking off that last chain, doing a chain up of one, inserting our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, with a slip stitch. And all a slip stitch is, is inserting into the loop, yarning over, and pull through everything on the hook. And we're going to put one slip stitch into every loop that we have in our chain, going all the way back down towards the base. Once we get to the base, we're going to slip stitch in to the base. So I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We've just made it all the way down with our slip stitch row. And what we're going to do next is slip stitch it into the base so that we can connect it all down. So into this next available loop that we have, into this single crochet row, we're going to insert our hook into that next available loop. Insert with a slip stitch, so we're going to yarn over, pull through everything and that connects this row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next available loop. We're going to flip our work. And then from here, we're going to go in to our slip stitch row with back loop slip stitches, which is the same thing, just going into the back loops and that'll give us a ribbing effect that's different than the one that we have for the body, but still very pretty. And that's basically it for the sleeve. We're just going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any loops left and then we're going to connect with a single crochet row just like how we've been doing everything else. But I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We have made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitches and the only thing we're going to do for this is just connect it with a single crochet row so that this can cinch in and then we can start working on the other side. So all that is is we're going to take a look at the next available loop that we have into the front panel. We're going to insert our hook into that loop and then go into the same loop that we have into the back panel, insert our hook into that back loop, and then we're going to single crochet it together. And that's basically it. It's the same way that we've been doing everything else. So I'll meet you guys back once when we have gone all the way down, we're going to cut and tie and then go ahead and do the other sleeve. So this is what we should have once when we have both of our sleeves all finished up. And the next thing we're going to do is go in with our bottom border. And our bottom border is actually going to be exactly the same as our cuff. But instead of going in with a 5mm hook, we're going to go back to using our 6.5mm hook so that it's not as tight. And then also, instead of making our bottom border just one long piece that goes all the way around, we're going to be doing it in two sections. We're going to figure out where our side seams are in the front. And we're going to do a bottom border for there cut and tie and then do the same thing on the back so that there's a little slit on the sides.
Getting started on our bottom border, you guys can start for the front or the back, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to need to figure out where our side seam is first, where one of them is. And once we know where that is, we're first going to go in with a row of single crochet. So once we do that, we're going to insert our hook into that loop. Pull through, we are going to chain up one to secure. And then from here, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into each side half double crochet one single crochet into each side single crochet, one single crochet into each side half double, sorry, and then another into each side single. So basically one into every row. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we reach our other side seam. And then we're going to do the bottom border together. We've now made it to the end with our row of single crochet. And what we're going to do from here is figure out how long we want our bottom border to be. And I've already figured out mine and I'm just going to make a chain that comes out to about four inches. Now that I have my chain, what we're going to do is block off that last chain, chain up just one extra and go in with a row of slip stitches, just like how we did our cuff. And we're just going to go down our chain, putting one slip stitch into every loop. And then we're going to connect it into the base. We've just put one slip stitch into every loop that we add in our chain. And what we're going to do next is insert our hook into the next available loop with a slip stitch. So this is our next available loop. We're just going to insert our hook into that loop to finish off this row. And then to work our way up to the next row, slip stitch up the next loop, flip our work, and then do more back loop slip stitches and continue to do this all the way down until you reach this other seam that we have on this side. Once we reach this last loop, we're going to cut and tie and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We finished up doing the entirety of our bottom border, the front, and the back piece and the last thing that we have to do for this section is do our little side detail that we have getting started on the side detail what we're going to do is insert our hook into any one of these corner loops insert our yarn onto our hook pull through we're going to chain up one to secure and then for this first row we're just going to be going in with a single crochet row that goes along this first bottom border we are going to do a decrease in the middle so that we will have a middle loop and then going back up this other bottom border that we have. So from here, we're just going to be going in with a row of single crochet until we get to this last loop on this side, and then we will do a decrease into the middle together. We've made it down one side of our side detail, and we have just one loop left for us to go into, and we're gonna be doing a decrease of three so that we can make our way over to this other side. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into this last loop that we have on this side. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, and then from here, we're going to take a look at the seam that we have along this side. And we're actually going to insert our hook in through that last loop that we have in our seam. And we're doing that because we don't have any other loops to go into that's directly in the middle. But we're just going to take a look right here, insert our hook into that last seam loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through that one. And then we're going to turn our work just a little bit and take a look at our other bottom border insert our hook into this first available loop that we have on this side, yarn over, pull through one. We should have four loops on the hook, but once we have that, we're gonna yarn over, pull through everything that's on the hook, and that is our decrease, and then this is gonna be where we start working our side detail into. But once we have that, we can go down with a row of single crochet, and once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up one and cut, and then we're gonna do the detail together. Now that we have a row of single crochet going along the entirety of our V that we left for ourselves. Next, we're going to go in with the border, but first we're going to need to do a little bit of measuring. You're going to want to figure out how many of these sections that you guys want. I'm going to have three sections. So I measured what I have right here and turns out that I have a total of about three inches right here. So I'm going to go in with about one inch per section. Now that we know that I'm going to get started. We're going to take a look at this bottom loop that we have the one that is right in the middle and then I'm going to measure up one inch and then I'm going to insert my hook into that loop which is this one insert our yarn onto our hook pull through and then from here I'm going to make a chain that comes out to whatever measurement that we have but doubled so like I said I have a measurement of one inch so I'm going to make a chain of two inches once we have our chain we are going to insert our hook into this opposite end that we have, but making sure that we're going into the same loop as this side. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna insert our hook with a slip stitch. And this is our first section. 
once we have this we're going to measure up another inch and then I'm going to slip stitch up that inch we have just slip stitched up another inch and what we're going to do from here is take a look at this first chain that we made the one that goes across we're going to take this chain and we're going to double it because this needs to come to a point and then come back down to this chain now that we have this chain what we're going to do is flip our work we're going to single crochet it into this first chain that we use to get across I'm just going to go into that big gap with a single crochet and then we're going to do the same thing that we did here one more time now that we have this second chain for our second section we're going to insert our hook into the same loop that we have this first chain into but on this side once we find that we're going to insert with a slip stitch and this is what we should have so far and the last thing that we have to do is slip stitch all the way up until we don't have any more loops to go into and then we're going to finish it off with a single crochet row that goes all the way across now that we slip stitched all the way up we're just going to go across with a chain and then single crochet and in order to do that we're just going to take the same measurement that we have from the first middle point up to where we went in with our first chain and for me that was an inch so I'm going to make a chain that comes out to an inch or about three centimeters once we have that we're going to flip our work and then into this first big loop that we made for ourselves we're going to go into that big loop with a single crochet and then once we have that chain out another inch into this next big gap single crochet and we have just one more to do to connect to this other corner once we have that slip stitch into this corner and then we're going to go in with a row of single crochet once we have that we're going to chain up one flip our work and then just go all the way across putting one single crochet into every loop that we have once we make it to the end we're going to chain up one and cut and then once we have that we're going to do the same thing on the other side we're all finished up with doing our side detail and this next part is optional but i really like it so all i'm going to do is go in with a chain that goes across our v-neck just to give it a little bit more something and so that it can match our side detail that we just did but this is going to be completely up to you you guys are just going to pick two points on each side and then from there you're going to make a chain that goes from one point going across to the next and making sure that it's taut so that once when you wear it it doesn't wrinkle and then once when you have that you will be pretty much all done and from there the only thing that you guys have to do is weave in all of your ends now that we're done weaving in the ends this is our finished top i'm super happy with how this v-neck turned out it's like the classic v-neck that we all know and love but it has a little twist on it and it is beyond perfect and if y'all think so too go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it's right beneath the video it lets youtube and i know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction but if you didn't like it give this video a thumbs down but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it or if you have any questions, requests, or if y'all just want to say hi, I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, it's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping channel grow so I can keep making all these great videos for you guys. If you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell so you know when there's a new upload for you guys right away. And please share with all of your friends, because every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly guys, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.